just look at it and then you just go with a little net and scoop it up. And then we have to download all the data from it. Our exhibit is about marine mammals and their lives at sea. So what we're really interested in is to kind of show people how these animals live underwater, what they do underwater. And uh, the exhibit has three main parts. One is to kind of work out how do we find them in the first place, how do you study these animals that are so difficult to get to. Then how they use acoustics, how they use acoustics to echolocate, how they use acoustics to communicate, and also how can they cope with diving for such long times. My main study animal is the bottlenose dolphin, uh, an animal that we actually find a lot around the UK. We have a large population off the east coast of, the, of Scotland and uh, in fact we can just go up um, off our Getty Marine Lab into the sea and, and study them there. I also study them in Florida and, and in Western Australia. The other species we have on the display are sperm whales that we study in the Gulf of Mexico and then also two species of uh, seals that we study mainly around Antarctica and that's the subantarctic fur seal and also the elephant seal. So we're using underwater microphones and have various different technologies that we use for that. Uh, one is um, underwater hydrophone arrays where we have a variety of different microphones which then allow us to pinpoint where sound came from and so that way you can study um, how an animal pr produces a sound and how another one then reacts to it. We're often attaching tags on animals um, to find out first of all where they're going and, how, and what exactly their dive profiles are but also to record acoustics and try to work out how they're using sound and what they are exposed to themselves. Most of us come from a biology background, uh, mainly marine biology, but um, myself, for example, I have a main background also in behavioral biology. Um, on top of this, of course, we need quite a bit of um, knowledge base in, phys in physics. And we have several people who work, for example, in electronic engineering um, or um, acousticians that actually help us to work um, exactly on how these animals use sound at sea. This is an interesting one. This low humming sound that you hear is a navy sonar. The field that interests me the most is animal intelligence. To, to a certain extent, to find out how are animals different and what is our evolutionary history? How does it come that we evolved to the complex beings that we are? And um, the best way of, of finding out about this, I think, is by comparing ourselves to other animals, to try to work out how they've come up with very complex cognitive skills, and uh, then being able to compare and see where these would evolve. There's a lot of problems for these animals in terms of um, habitat destruction, in terms of uh, noise that's being put into the sea. And these kinds of issues um, are major problems for the animals. And as new technologies develop, um, especially in the marine uh, field, um, it becomes more and more important to look at what impacts that has on marine wildlife.